Well, hello, how are you? <laughs> uh, my name is Ken Marino, and I am the director, or was the director, of Dog Days. It's over now, so um, I guess I'm still the director, but I'm not directing it anymore. Uh, what drew me to this project after How to Be a Latin Lover um, was that I wanted to do another movie that was family friendly. My kids are 11 and 9 years old and I wanted to uh, try to do another movie that, um, that I can talk to them about and bring them into the editing room and, uh, and get their opinion on stuff and share that with them because uh, they're only 9 and 11 you know, for so long. The first thing I did is we interviewed a lot of uh, dog trainers, and we uh, met this guy, uh, Mark Harden, who was amazing. And I basically said to him, wh 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 because we had so, so little time, and the dogs could be, we just wanted to mix and match. There's a lot of dogs in the movie, so we wanted to mix and match, make sure we had big and small and fat and skinny and you know f furry and not furry and different personalities. you know. Uh, so. So I just asked him, what do you, who, who, are your star do, who are your star dogs? Who are, your, who are like the rock stars of your crew? And uh, he gave me um, sort of a list of like who, who's like on the A team. And then um, after that, I asked him, well, what, what kind of stuff can they do? Can they do tricks? Are they cute at cuddling? Are they cute at barking? Do they do, you know, like I just wanted to figure out what their... Uh, strengths were, um, and then we sort of wrote towards that, uh, and and we just then we did a little mixing and matching and tried to find the cutest dogs of all shapes and sizes. I was lucky enough to just like call up and ask, you know, Tig, uh, Tig was in it, and and she, um, uh, Nataro, and she and she uh, said, oh yeah, I'll do I'll do it. Uh, I'm in New York. When uh, can I? You know, when do you when do you need it done? And I'm like, well, we're shooting it. I don't know. I gave her a date, and she's like, all right, I'll fly out and do it. So she came out and did a couple of days on it, and killed it. And then, you know, I was in a, a sketch comedy group with um, uh, called the State uh, with Tom Lennon, who's uh, you know old dear friend. And uh, I called up Tom. He came in and did it. Jessica St. Clair. And so I, I felt like I had this like murderer's row of comedians who are also just terrific actors who came in and, and did the thing. And then I, I met new people uh, on this project, uh, uh, Nina Dobrev and um, uh, uh, Vanessa Hudgens, this guy Michael Cassidy, um, uh, John Bass, who I work with, but, but not much. And, and they just came in and they, they killed it. And so I felt very lucky because all the actors in it uh, were just wonderful. Eva, Eva Longoria, uh, who I had just shot a pilot with, that we acted in a pilot together. Um, I thought she was perfect to play the part. So um, I, had, I had just done this pilot with her that pilot with her that didn't go. Uh, and so I called her up and I was like, "Would you want to do this?" And she's like, "Absolutely, let's let's do it." And so she's like, How, "What about Rob Corddry to to be my husband?" I was like, "Well, that's what we were thinking. Let's let's get Rob." So. Then we got Eva and Rob in it, and it just Tone Bell, this guy Tone Bell, who I'd done uh, a, a guest spot on his show, and I got to know him, and he's a wonderful actor, and he's so charming and funny and and real, and I, I just I just feel um, incredibly lucky to, uh, to to know to have gotten to know so many wonderful actors, and then to. And then because of uh, the cast was such a big cast, to get to know even, even more people through this process uh, who wound up being wonderful. What, what I like about the directorial process is that, um, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a marathon. You know, there's uh, uh, prep for the script, there's pre-production, there's, uh, there's these, all these chapters to it. You know, there's... Uh, you know, actual principal photography, then you're done with that and you have to edit. And once you're done with the editing and locking picture, then you have to figure out sound and uh, color correct and all that stuff. And all of those steps are steps that I truly enjoy. And I like the, uh, when, you know, when you direct something, you want to, you're a little bit of a control freak. And I think I'm a little bit of a control freak. And I like uh, uh, controlling the process as much as possible from beginning to end. Uh, to really show the 
type of movie that I had in mind from the beginning. Um, when you're an actor, you show up and you do your part, and then you leave, and you hope that they use the takes that you wanted them to use. Uh, when you're a director, you get to use all the takes that you wanted, unless the producers say, change the take, which is fine, because they put the money up. What kind of challenges do we have on set working with dogs? Watch where you step. Um, and also with the humans, watch where you step. Because, you know, actors, they, they are not trained properly, you know? They think they can go wherever they want. In fact, Tom Lennon, on purpose, just to kind of mark his space, would start just peeing on the lights. But what a talent. So you got to give and take. you got to accept the, the negative for the, for the positive. The, the, the truth is, is I met all the dogs uh, in the casting process and got to know them. Once we were shooting, we were moving so fast, and the trainers were there, um, I didn't get to play with them that much. Uh, or kind of, um, you know, uh, I didn't have any problems with them. They, they just came on set and they would uh, hit their marks and uh, do the things that they were trained to do, uh, which was pretty simple stuff like, you know, looking up and barking and laying down. And, um, and I, you know, they, they were they're, they're, they're pretty good at what they do. Well, the story is, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's a bunch of people who live in Los Angeles, um, it's, uh, and it's about how uh, they're all dog owners, and it's how dogs uh, affect their lives, and how dogs make them better people, and um, how dogs introduce them to people that they might not have met. Um, uh, and so I just wanted to make sure I, I did this movie about dogs where the dogs were characters in the movie and not just uh, props. And, um, and so uh, it's, a, it's a movie about uh, people and um, people who love dogs. And um, it's for people who love dogs. And so hopefully uh, people who uh, uh, are dog owners or who love dogs, I, uh, I think they'll appreciate this movie. You know, I just want them to go in and enjoy it, and I, I, I'm not sure I want them to take anything away from it other than I want them to laugh and I want them to be, um, uh, hopefully be moved by uh, some of the performances and some of the storylines, um, and I want them to uh, be happy that uh, the dogs were represented in a way that uh, was uh, loving and, uh, and uh, you know, uh, we cared about them, and we wanted to um, tell stories about people and, uh, and people in their relationships with dogs and other people that um, that uh, that was satisfying and, and real and and funny. <laughs>